Uh, so Christian, why is it that um, version dog services have to be run as applications with software upload? So if you want to run things automatically, okay. you have to grant elevated permissions. Okay, so how do we do this? We switch over to the services console window. Okay, here we have it open already. Then we open the properties of VDOG master service. Okay, double click. Now, here we see the path to executable mm -hmm. and we have to copy the whole command line which is presented there. Okay, so very delicately, including the first quotation mark and all others and everything right to the very end. Up to here, yes. Okay, that's it. Copy now that. we copy it. Mm -hmm. We go to the empty desktop. Okay, I'll just Windows D and here we are. Now we just create a new Windows shortcut. Okay. And here we add what we've copied before. Okay. It's all there. Now let's make sure that um, quotation mark is there. It is. Good. Now you have to once again click here because if you press the empty space now oh, it's yeah, okay. gone good <laughs> now the important part is that we have to add some little things behind this command line mm -hmm. it starts with an empty space right and we put the forward slash yep and then we add app which stands for application yep now there's an optional one if you want to have a visible window, mm -hmm. you add another empty space mm -hmm. and another forward slash and the word visible. Okay, and then you get visual confirmation that the application is running. Yes, and as I mentioned, it's just optional, so you can leave it out if you don't need it. Okay, we'll do it for now, then we can see how it works. Right, next, I presume? Yes. Nothing uh, to complain about. Okay, yeah. Finish. Finish. And I expect it's hiding behind. Yes, there it is. Good. <clears throat> so, we still have this properties window open. And the next important part is that please make sure that VDoc Master Service and the application of VDOG master service are not running at the same time. And this mm -hmm. is why we switch the startup type mm -hmm. to disabled. Disabled, okay. Yeah. We apply this state as disabled. Yep. It cannot restart automatically now. We switch to the services main console window. And finally, we stop the running service. Okay. Great. So, so now, should we start the application? Now, we can run the application of VDOC Master Service, but please make sure that you right-click and yes. you search for the elevated permission itself which is granted by run as administrator. Yep, okay. That's so easy to forget, isn't it? And there we have... What we get is an empty blank window because normally a service does not have a graphical user interface. Yep, of course. 